Okay, hi, thanks for watching this video. This is a uh, restored 1930s Cruise Heinz traffic light, uh, very Art Deco uh, piece. And uh, just restored it, I just finished it uh, last few days. And uh, as you can see, it operates uh, like a normal traffic light would. It has a uh, controller inside that is adjustable. You can change it to different settings. You can change the speed of the uh, lights as you go around. Um, so anyway, here I want to show you some more details on this. Um, you know, everything's been repainted on this. Uh, you know, went through layers of primer and uh, you know bodywork, that kind of thing. Uh, it's a base clear system. Uh, pinstriping is our, pinstripes are buried in clear. As you can see here, there's a gold pinstripe. So three colors: black, gold, uh, green. You know, colors they you know would have used uh, back in the day as well. Um, you know, everything's nicely polished. You know, all these little handles that uh, open up the, the lids here are all polished. So, and then over here, you know, this is the top of it. And again, Art Deco again. And uh, these uh, mounting brackets uh, are meant to go to a wall. So there's one here on the top, one here on the bottom. Um, it, right now I have this mounted to a, a, the bottom of a crate for potential shipping. You know, normally you'd use stainless screws that would be uh, flush mounted not these bolts like this. But, uh, you know, just did this for the shipping. Okay, uh, you know, again here, I'm just trying to show you the paint, what it looks like. Uh, very with, happy with how it turned out. I'm gonna open up one of these uh, covers, show you what's going on inside. Uh, you just flip these up and uh, this will open up. As you can see here, here's the uh, original Cruz Heinz uh, smiley lenses. Um, actually, I think they're cops lenses. And, uh, you know, the smiley part here is a desirable uh, lens to get. Uh, inside here, it's all polished and painted as well. All, everything's done inside and out on this machine. And uh, here's the reflector, the original reflector. And inside here, it's all done as well. Uh, all this wiring in here has been redone. So don't have to worry about, you know, burning your house down. This is all new wiring, new connections. You know, even in here, uh, a lot of people don't redo these. I do. So I went through and I rewired even the inside, so inside these sockets. So all fresh wiring, I always do that. I feel that's really important. A lot of brass on here. A lot of polished, a little bit of polished copper, some polished uh, stainless. You know. So anyway, I'm gonna close this back up and I'm gonna show you where the controller is. It might be of interest. Uh, it's easier to see from this one. Put this up. And if you look in here, you can see the controller that's in the box. And uh, you just take the cover off and there's a little potentiometer in there that you can adjust the speed or other settings if you desire. And I'll forward along all the paperwork on this machine. You know, more than likely you'll never want to change it, but in case you do it, here, that, that's how you do it. So I'm just going to close this back up. And lastly, here's the bottom one. I don't know if this is interesting or not, but here's the, the green. Again, the uh, original reflector is all in the wiring, and there's a the controller. All right, I'm gonna close this back up. And lastly, I wanna show you, you know, how this works. You know, you can just spin this and adjust it to whatever orientation you like. And on the back, there's this triple, triple design as well. Let me flip around a little more. Here we go. Here's the back of it. This is almost all the way around. You can almost go 270 with rotation on here. And there's some more pinstriping in the back as well. And here, again, here's the mount. All right, cool. Um, here, let me back this up. Okay. And one last look at it. Thanks, appreciate it. This is for sale. Um, thanks for your consideration.